Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program for sum of digits of a given number. In the previous video, we have to discuss about C program for printing the reverse of a, a given number. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel for better understanding that important program. Now we can go for a C program for finding out the sum of digits of a given number. Suppose I am taking the number from the keyboard is 1234. Okay. So this is the given number. First, we have to find out the individual digits of this number. We have to sum of these individual digits. What are the individual digits in that number? So, 4 is one individual digit, 3 is one individual digit, 2 is one individual digit, 1 is another individual digit. After finding out the individual digits, we have to sum of these individual digits 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 10. Okay. First, how we are finding out the individual digits of a given number? So, for that one, we are using the modulus operator. Okay. Modulus operator. Modulus operator. So, by using this modulus operator, we have to find out the individual digits of a given number. For example, so 1234 modulus operator 10. 1234 modulus operator 10. So that means, so 1234 is the division with 10. It returns the remainder value. It returns the remainder value. So, what is the remainder we are getting? So, that is 4. So, 4 is the remainder. Okay. Next, I am taking this number. Okay. 123 modulus operator 10. Okay. So, 123 is a division with 10. So, 120. So, we are getting the remainder 3. This value is 3. Next, I am taking this number. Okay. 12 division with uh, 12 modulus operator 10 is equal to. So, 10 divides with uh, 12 one time remainder value 2. So, now this is a 2 we are getting. Next, this number can be taken. So, 1 modulus operator 10 is equal to. So, 1 division with 10, 10 0, 0 remainder 1. So, remainder 1 we are getting. Next, this number can be taken, so 0, n greater than 0, 0 greater than 0, false. Until the quotient value 0, we are continue this process. Until this is called as quotient, this is called as quotient, quotient, quotient. So, this procedure is repeated until quotient value 0. Okay. Whenever the quotient value is 0, we have to stop the procedure. Then, what are the individual digits we are getting? First, we are getting 4. Next, we are getting 2. Next, we are getting 2. Next, we are getting 1. So, 4, 3, 2, 1. Once we are getting the individual digits, we have to find out the sum of those individual digits. We are getting the value 10. So, this is the simple logic we have to find out. Okay, we have to find out the sum of individual digits of a given number. Now, we have to write the program. So, hash include, hash include stdio.h. We have to include two header files to our program. So, initially, so, hash include conio.h, console input output header file, standard input output header file. Next one, we have to write the main function, void main, 
the main function does not return anything so that we have to write y be before the main function okay here i am declaring some variables what are the variables here n is equal to 120 or 1234 okay so i am declaring n value int n comma next r r is the r always returns the remainder value next one sum contains the individual digits of a given number sum of individual digits of a given number initially some value 0 finally so this result is stored in the variable called sum okay so these are the two variables that we are uh, declared okay r sum is equal to 0 n is the given number okay now clr scr next printf printf enter the given number enter the given number so this number is read from the keyboard by using scanf function so scanf here far max string is percentage d because n can be declared as integer variable comma and present n so by using this statement n value can be read from the keyboard okay next one y n greater than 0 or a n not equal to 0 we have to write either this condition or this condition both are true okay both are true no problem at all we have to use either this condition or this condition y n greater than 0 we do not write any semicolon after the while if you write a semicolon we are not getting the output okay let's begin here r is equal to n modulus operator 10 so by using this statement we are getting the individual digits of a given number okay next one yes is equal to or uh, sum sum is equal to sum plus r sum plus r in this step we have to find out the sum of the remainders so 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 so in this step it can be did next n is equal to n by 10 okay so here this value can be taken n is equal to first 1234 next 123 next to 12 next to 1 we are taken by using this step so after completing this step so printf we have to print the sum of individual digits of a given number individual digits of a given number given number is percentage d slash and double quotes and final result is stored in the variable called sum next one get ch brace close so this is the uh, program now we have to calculate the uh, sum of individual digits of a given number by using logic okay so first i am taking uh, enter the given number so this is the output output how we are calculated so enter the given number so what is the number we are taking enter the given number so i am taking 1234 so this number can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function so both printf and scanf functions are included in the header file called stdio.h okay after reading this number from the keyboard okay so therefore n is equal to 1 to 1200 and 34 okay now go to this step why n greater than 0 first 
1234 greater than 0 condition true if the condition is true the control goes to the body of the while loop we have to execute these three statements so r is equal to 1234 modulus operator n so it can it returns the remainder value that remainder value 4 how we are getting in the previous step we are already known how we are getting 4 next one sum is equal to sum plus r initially sum value is equal to 0 0 plus r value we are getting 4 0 plus 4 that is equal to 4 we are getting next n is equal to n by 10 n is equal to 1234 divided by 10 we are getting 123 so how we are getting 4 how we are getting 123 already we are seeing the logic okay so if this is the first iteration first iteration so in the second iteration what are the inputs for the second iteration this is the input and this is the input for second iteration some value is 4 n value is 123 for the second iteration so this is the input now i am taking n is equal to 123 and the sum is equal to 4 these are the two inputs for the second iteration now go to this step after executing this iteration again control goes to this step okay so here y n greater than 0 n means 123 123 greater than 0 so condition true if the condition is true, the control goes to the body of the value and execute these three statements. R is equal to n modulus operator 10. 123 modulus operator 10. That is equal to 3 we are getting. Next step, sum is equal to sum plus R. Sum is equal to sum. In the previous step, what is the sum value? 4. 4 plus R. R value is 3. So, 4 plus 3, that is a 7, we are getting. Next, n is equal to n by 10. n is equal to 123 divided by 10. So, we are getting the quotient value as 12. So, these two values for the input for the third iteration. Okay. So, after executing these three statements, again, control goes to the value. The third iteration starts. For the third iteration, what are the inputs? n value is 12 and the sum value is equal to 7. These are the inputs for the third iteration. Here again we are checking n greater than 0. So 12 greater than 0. Condition true. If the condition is true, the control goes to the body of the value and execute this statement. R is equal to 12 modulus operator 10. We are getting the remainder value 2. Next sum is equal to sum plus r. So sum is equal to what is the sum value previous step? So is 7 plus r we are getting 2. 7 plus 2, 9. So n is equal to n by 10. So that is a 12 by 10. That is equal to 1. Okay. So these are the two values can be used for the next iteration. That is the fourth iteration. Fourth iteration. In the fourth iteration, so what are the inputs? Sum is equal to 9 and n is equal to 1. After completing the third iteration, again control goes to the while loop. Fourth iteration start by n greater than 0. So 1 greater than 0, that is condition true. If the condition is true, the control goes to the body of the while loop and execute these three statements. So, R is equal to N modulus operator 10. N value 1. 1 modulus operator 10. That is equal to 1. Next, sum is equal to sum plus R. In the previous step, sum value is 9. 9 plus 1. That is equal to 10. R value is 1. Pre sum value 9. 9 plus 1. That is equal to 10. Next, N is equal to N by 10. 1 by 10. That is equal to 0. Actually, it is 0 0.1. We are taking the integer value that is a 0. So after completing the fourth iteration, then we can go for the fifth iteration. Again, control goes to the while loop. So here, what are the inputs we are getting for the fifth iteration? Some value is a 10 and n value 0. Okay. So here, 
we are checking the condition 0 greater than 0 that is false. So in the fifth iteration the condition is false. So if the condition is false the control goes to the next statement after the while loop. While loop starts here, while loop ends here, the control goes to this one. So print the sum of individual digits of a given number is percentage d slash and double quotes and sum. What is the value here? Sum value that is a 10. 10 is printed. Okay. So therefore the output is enter the given number is 1234. So sum of individual digits of a given number is individual digits of a given number is is 10. This is the result. 10. Okay. So, only this is the output. This is the output. This is the logic explanation. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for getting the future updates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment box. I will clarify your doubts. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel as so the fella Srinivasarao. This is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.